Well, finally today, tucked away in the mountains of North Georgia, you will find one of the newest and up-to-date agri-science buildings in the entire state. David Jones traveled to Union County and gives you a look at the new facility that will not only benefit the ag industry, but also the community as a whole. After years of planning and building, the Union County Schools Agri-Science Center is now officially a reality, as leaders from both the agricultural community and school system gather to christen the new building. Between its ample space and state-of-the-art technology, the variety of events this facility can host are limitless. In the initial stages, uh, the Board of Education and the, and the community, in conjunction with the uh, agriculture teachers in the system, uh, saw a real need to update the existing facilities. But what they wanted to do was, was uh, have, they had a vision to make it much bigger than just a facility for kids to show animals. And uh, that kind of evolved into this complex and then the procurement of the additional 30 acres for an agri-science research farm. We can do a lot of different things. We can have different meetings here. Um, our, my favorite thing is we can have meetings for, where for people that are, you know, 100 to 150 type of, type of meetings. And uh, we can not only have livestock shows here, we can have anything under the moon. Uh, this is a very multi-use facility. Uh, we can do anything from livestock shows to community events to and have different type of meetings here as well. But the main purpose for this facility is very clear. In fact, it's in the name itself. Between all the holding stalls, animal barns, and even wind tunnel, ag teachers and the Union County students interested in pursuing agriculture will have everything they need to succeed right in their backyard. You know, first and foremost, it provides the teachers with an opportunity uh, to take their classroom instruction and turn it into hands-on learning experience out here. Uh, you got a really nice laboratory, laboratory setting in the back where they can do some live animal demonstrations. Uh, some places up on the hill for kids to keep their animals here uh, when they don't have a place at their permanent residence. And so it turns into a learning laboratory for them to bring their classroom instruction out here. In the back part of our facility, we will be able to house student livestock projects. And uh, we can house pigs in this facility. And we have a place to be able to house uh, cattle projects and other small ruminants and things on the upper side of, a, of this facility. It's a much needed addition to a community that has a rich history in agriculture as they look to continue that tradition into the foreseeable future. Uh, agriculture in this community is, has been an integral part of the community for a long time. It's a very small rural, and rural county and I think you can say it's very agricultural at its base. Uh, agriculture here is still thriving. Uh, we've a lot of we still have a lot of farmers in the community and uh, been dying for a facility like this. To be able to see what the uh, ag education has moved from five years ago versus what the ag program has done now has been tremendous. Reporting from Blairsville, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.